Hey folks, uh, I'm standing in a 5G grid here. I just wanted to um, inform you about it, uh, about this deployment, uh, the frequency levels, uh, the power output, all that. But this is a 5G grid and um, I'll take you through it. I'll show you the readings. Guess what? They are extreme and they're going to get worse, but this is going on worldwide. It's part of an agenda, a technocratic agenda, which you're all aware of. So we're just trying to bring awareness. Uh, we're concerned about the health aspects, but also about the societal, which is surveillance, digitalization. It's all interconnected together. And these are the globalists, deep staters that are pushing this worldwide. So um, it's an existential attack on humanism through the agenda of transhumanism. So the last video we did, we were behind me, and I'll just show you there. So we were over here. And there's that tower there that we were on, if you look at our last video, right, right there. That's that tower there. So this grid is connected to these two new towers right here. They look kind of harmless, you know? You may look at them and think there's not much to them, but there's quite a bit to them, quite frankly. I, we did the research, so we'll share the findings. But we got, um, there's a lot of 5G up on that first tower. That's a Rogers Tower. And the one behind it is a Freedom Mobile, which is, I think it may be connected to Rogers as well. But they're very powerful. And notice how small the antennas are. So that's what we got to realize that as they go higher frequency, the, the antennas are getting smaller and smaller. That means they're more powerful, right? So I'll, I'll show you the readings. I got two different meters again. I'll just give you an idea of what's happening. This could be happening in your community too. So this is the tri-field. basically maxed out the the peak the peak is maxed out as well the peak in the left corner there is completely maxed out from these two towers where i'm standing this is a major consumer area and there's residences around here so i'm going to take out my acoustometer now it's a, it's a professional meter and we'll see if it confirms the findings. And then I'm gonna go through what I found online about these towers. So there's our reliable acoustometer. So look at that, the peak signal is basically completely maxed out, 21,000 power output from right here we went up to. Look at the peak signal, folks. So this is, uh, you know, unlike your bedroom or office where you have your Wi-Fi, 25,000 power output on uh, 28,000 coming out of there. 27, 33,000, 34,000 power output. So imagine there's a big, big router over there. This is basically what you have uh, if you go close up to your router, if you use wireless. 35,000, 42,000 power output. This isn't surprising. 48,000. See, I'm in a 5G grid here, eh? You see it, eh? 40,000 power output. See that? What we want is around 0.5, below 0.5 volts per meter. We're well above 6. And we're looking at, in this public domain here, we'd like to see 1,000 microwatts per square meter. And we're 45 times above that right now. And this is an even 5G millimeter wave, folks. 43,000 there. Just wait till the 5G millimeter wave comes out. So we're looking 10 to 50 times higher 
Think about it. Look at that, folks. I'm just going to see if we're getting any re residual from that tower over there. See, it's still quite high over here. Look at that. When we shift and get in line with that tower. Boom. Yeah, so those readings, I just felt... I felt compelled to share that. I think it's a good example of what's going on. You know, it could be anywhere in the U.S., U.K., it could be Germany, Canada, anywhere, anywhere in the West. So that tower, I, I just want to share the finding, the factual findings with you. So on that Rogers Tower, the first one there, we had uh, 3.6 gigahertz. There was a couple of antennas on there, 3.6 gigahertz, and there are at 18... 1,870 watts. There's 2.1 gigahertz up there. And that's that first tower there. This one. There's 2.1 gigahertz at 30 over 3,900 watts, which is pretty high. 2.6 gigahertz at over 3,600 watts. And 2.1 gigahertz at 30... 30, 3,200, over, over 3,200 watts. So that's a very high power output. And there was a very high power po output on the other one as well. But that's why we were getting those readings. And it's important people to understand the frequency when it's high. And we talked about this the other day. The power output gives it further range. So the higher the power output, it means that frequency is going to travel further and you're going to feel it from a greater distance away. So these towers have high frequency, high power output. That's why we're getting these readings from where we are. But, but this is the new norm, right? That's coming. And there they are there. I'll just zoom in. They got some small antennas below there. Look at that. It's basically a 5G tower, that one. Yeah, that's a good question. Is there a school or daycare, church? I'm sure there is. There's all kinds, kinds of stuff around here. Obviously, a lot of consumers, as you can see. And over there, we got residences in here. There's dental. I'm sure there's uh, all kinds of stuff around here. <laughs> but those readings aren't lying. Um, I just thought I should share it because it's a good example of what's out there right now. Because what they're doing is they're deploying the 3.5 gigahertz, the 3.6 gigahertz, right? And this is um, kind of hyped up 4G. And then they're going to leapfrog into the 5G millimeter wave probably in about a year, year and a half. And that's really going to explode it. And um, that's going to fuel the digitalization of what they're doing, which is crazy. But this is a reality. Um, this is happening worldwide. It doesn't matter where you were. You know, you could be in Afghanistan. It's the same thing there. So it is what it is, folks. Many people have... Uh, have adapted to this already further down the road many will be getting sick from the higher yeah of course linda 100 we have to we have heaps everywhere in australia do not like it yeah angie see it's a worldwide phenomena thank you jackie but this is i thought this was a good example that's why i took the time to come out here the readings are factual they're extreme uh they're well above what we consider safe levels. Thank you for sharing. Wish people would wake up. Yeah, Bob, I don't know what's wrong with people. I, I look around, people are like zombies. They're so, um, I guess a lot of people are struggling to make ends meet, but um, they're so conditioned, programmed. So, you know, 
everything we do is about giving you the real information. And, um, you know, it's going to make a better world for everyone. So that's, that's our purpose, right? So we're fed up with what's going on. We don't trust the deep state establishment, what they're up to, right? Just look at the proxy in Ukraine. What an absolute disaster. What's going on there? What a tragedy. Terrible, terrible stuff there. But we're going to share more, folks. But this, like I said, this is a really good example of what, what's going on right now. So just be aware of your environment. That's what we recommend. And avoid shield if necessary. That's all you can do, right? But um, you don't have to let this consume your life or impact you. Just try to avoid it if, if possible. Joe's, uh, this is in Calgary Southwest, Nose, Nose Hill, but it could be anywhere. It just happened to be here. Um, when I did that tower last time, I drove by, did the readings here, and I knew right away. Then I did the research and I saw, oh my God, this is, this is the newest stuff they're putting out, right? So that's how we ended up here. Yeah, the shielding, clothing, whatever. Um, it's best to avoid it if possible, but if you need the shield, shield. But that's all you can do. And there it is there. <sighs> Fact. I think what I'll do is I'm, I'm going to go a bit closer, you guys, so you can, so we can all get a close-up view of these things. It'd be interesting just to finish this off. I'm just reading the comments. 15K for each tower here in Ontario. Yeah. Wow. But this is, uh, this is what's here. This is uh, pretty current stuff. The readings aren't lying, so check them out. I think we went up to 45,000, and the meter was maxed out on peak signal, which is a concern. We'll just get a closer look at that one. Notice the antennas are small, eh? They're all small, so this is what you should expect. But very, very powerful. I wonder if the 3.6 are those small ones at the bottom. I don't know for sure, but that wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, here we are here. See that there? Those could be the 3.6 gigahertz. Look at those 5G ones right there. That's basically a, a 5G tower right now. Look at that. You see that, folks? Very, very subtle. Like I said, the antennas are getting smaller and smaller, but more powerful, right? So, and there, and there you have it there. And that's why we're getting those readings. Okay, folks, I want to wish you a great evening.